Windows 11 is a great operating system, but it's not exactly built for non-mouse inputs. And if your mouse isn't working, that can be a problem. My name is Adullah. You're watching Gandhi Technology. And in this video, we're talking about what to do if your mouse is not being detected on your Windows 11 PC. Now, the first thing that uh, you need to do is check the device manager. So press Windows key plus X to open up the quick access menu and go ahead and click on device manager. This will open up the device manager window. And in here we are going to go to mice and other pointing devices. Double click to expand and you will see uh, HID compliant mouse devices show up here. What you have to do is right click and then go ahead and click on uninstall device. Uh, if you're on a laptop, you should be able to do it with your trackpad. But if you don't have access to the trackpad, you can pretty much use arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate this. And then you can press the context menu or press enter to go and then use tab to navigate the tabs. Once again, driver details, update details, press tab again, uninstall device, press enter press enter again and this will remove the device from your system uh, once all four of these devices have been removed restart your system uh, and plug your mouse back in again whether it's usb or wireless and it should start working properly the next thing to do is check your mouse uh, software settings for example i have a g502x plus so all of the settings for this mouse are going to be run through the Logitech G Hub, which is a pain in the bottom to handle on its own. G Hub is not the greatest piece of software ever made for mouse configurability. But if you're running into problems with your Logitech mouse and it's supported in G Hub, it's always nice to go have a look there just to make sure that uh, it's working properly. Uh, it could just be that the onboard memory is off or the connection is not working as expected and so on and so forth. So just go and check the mouse software. The next thing if you're using a Bluetooth mouse is to check Bluetooth settings. A lot of the times simply your Bluetooth is not enabled. How do we do that? Press Windows key plus I. Go to Bluetooth and devices and just make sure that Bluetooth is enabled. You can go ahead and click add a device and you can add your mouse by selecting this option. Alternatively, you can also access Bluetooth settings in the panel from here. So as you can see, my Xbox wireless controller is currently paired. If I click on this button, I have the Bluetooth toggle and the list of devices. So just make sure to try manually pairing your mouse, uh, that your mouse is in the pairing mode and that it's connected to your system before you uh, start pulling your hair out. The next thing to do is to check the dongle connection. Now, a lot of uh, gaming mice especially come with a 2.4 GHz dongle connection. So just make sure that it's properly plugged into the port, that it's within line of sight of the device. Sometimes these problems can happen where you turn on your mouse and it's just not being detected, but it's actually just a connection issue. Uh, another thing to look out for are your batteries. So if you're not, uh, if your mouse just isn't charged, for example, if I go to Logitech G Hub, you can see that my mouse has 54 percent charge, but if it doesn't have any battery and I plug in the dongle and I switch it on, this is not going to get connected, which is a concern. So just if your mouse has uses double A's or triple A's or like removable batteries, get a fresh pair of those in, or if it charges, just leave it plugged in for a while and see if that functions. Uh, if it's a wireless mouse, you can also just try plugging it directly into the system so that you can charge it while also using it. Last but not least, although this is the least likely to happen, you should also check your Bluetooth settings. Now, uh, sorry, your USB settings. Now to do this, we press Windows key plus X again to open the quick access menu and we go to device manager. In the device manager window, scroll all the way down to universal serial bus controllers, double click to expand and you will see your USB root hubs right here. I can also see my mouse which is plugged in. So if your mouse is something like this, you can access it in the USB controllers things. Go ahead, uninstall the device, unplug the mouse, restart your system and then reinsert uh, the mouse again. But if the problem is beyond this, what you can do is right click on your USB root hub 
go to properties head over to power management and just uncheck the allow this computer to turn off this device to save power option uh, windows can sometimes be finicky with the power it provides to its usb ports and if your mouse is not getting the power it needs you can connect it all you want but it's not going to be detected so just uncheck this option uh, click ok to save your changes restart your system once again and try plugging in your mouse and it should be working just fine if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video